Today we are looking at the Arduino Nano 33 IoT and this is from the website and this is a really interesting chip with what it does. It's very fascinating. And the IoT, I'm going to go through on their website some of the overview of what this supports. This is a really fun device. It supports Bluetooth, Bluetooth, the BLE, and it supports, here's a, a good area here, Bluetooth from the box, which it works, and it has a Wi-Fi system, which works great. And what I, I'm going to do a series of videos on this, on this Arduino, which is a lot of fun. And what this thing also comes with is an accelerometer. And rather than making an LED blink, let's have some fun with the accelerometer. The code for the accelerometer is actually not that complicated. But let's take a look at some of the tech specs here. You can see the microcontroller. Now, here's the radio module, which is very important. And this is an important thing right here. Remember, it supports 3.3 volts. That is an important thing to know because 3.3 volts, it doesn't support the 5 volt like the Arduino Uno does. This is more like a Raspberry Pi. So be careful what you install into the Arduino. By the way, I'm using this one without the headers installed for fun. It's, it's a really neat device. And you can see the input voltage. And look at the, the current draw. It's very, very little. You can run this thing on LiPo batteries. It's really neat. Here's the clock speed, the memory. Memory have had no problem with storing any software. Here's all the pins. Here's the uh, input output pins. PWM pins has one UART and has a I2C, which allows us to install, which I'll do another video on. I'm going to be doing several videos on this. And you can install a screen. Has some analog inputs, analog outputs, which is useful. And of course, the built in LED on, on 13, which is actually useful to see if it's on. And this is the motion unit. This is the accelerometer. So let's take a look at some code. Now, I'll go to my website. And on my website, you will see I have under on the opening page Arduino program downloads. And you can download this code right here for this device. Uh, most importantly, I will go through some extra things as we take a look at the code. So let's take a look at the code. Now here is the program for the accelerometer, which I have running right now. The one thing that is important is this library. So make sure you go into the tools and it's a LSM LSM 6D. Make sure to go into the libraries. That's what you do and you type LSM 6D and that library will appear and then you in, an installer will appear here and you click to install it. It will not work without that library. So this code is actually very simple. I have it going to the serial port monitor, as you can see, which works out great. And in this serial port monitor, I'm going to send it again, just so you can see it go through. I'm going to show you a little addition I do to it also. There we go, it's starting up. It's hard to see the beginning of the of the code, but actually what I would do is slow it down by using delay. I'll do like two, two seconds and I'll send it again. It's good for this video so you can see what's going on. Beginning of it will show this. Look at the sample rate, 104 hertz. And here's the acceleration in G's. 
So we have x, y, and z. It is displaying the x, y, and z. So it will show this first, and then here's the loop. You can see this code is really simple. It's actually really nice. This is the, the access to the library which gets this data. And then after it gets the data, it reads it, and then we just print it. And then I added this delay. So that is our code to show an acceleration. I'm shaking it around and moving it around, and you can see its location. So I will remove this delay. Actually, I can just comment it out. Send it. And now you can see the accelerometer working full time. As you can see me moving the chip around. So that is the first in a video series about this chip to have fun with the accelerometer. And of course, don't forget, you can do, obviously, you can do uh, various if statements with the value of X and have some fun with it. We'll do that later. So if you liked the video, definitely subscribe to the channel and have fun with the Arduino Nano 33 IoT board. And I will go through some more videos about this board. So remember, keep on learning.